Hey everyone, it's Mindy and Whitney, and we are here with some data-driven picks here for you today. So thanks you guys for coming and checking this out. Uh, did well yesterday, went two and one. Uh, we had the darn White Sox on the money line. I thought we were bringing it home. And no, Jankowski totally robs us of a home run that would have sealed the deal. Uh, it's the life of the sports betters, right? It's some good stuff. Uh, well, today I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, three more. What I do is I have a Major League Baseball model. I compare that model to Vegas opening lines. And then I chart all of my plays on the money line, run line, and total. And then from there, I know with a certain confidence level how frequently these plays hit. My variance, Vegas odds, equals this outcome most of the time. Statistics and probability, all that kind of good stuff. All right. Should we get started with play number one? Whitney is very tired. I don't know. I might have to hold her this uh, whole show. We'll see how it goes. All right. Number one is going to be between, of course, the Angels and the Tigers there at Comerica. Uh, it's Kokono. It's I think it's my second favorite, you know, um, starting pitcher after Ari Getty. <laughs> <laughs> Still my favorite. Uh, but Kokono, it's here. He's been doing well. 3.2 ERA over his uh, last three games. 6.08 this uh, season. We have Montero for the Tigers. 3.54 under in the short term, that 5.15 ERA this uh, season. Uh, Tigers offense right now, you guys know this. They're scoring 1.5 runs more than their season long average. The Tigers offense is also 7.77% higher in all of those offensive impact categories. So everything that you can think of offensively that I keep stats on, I'm sure you could read my mind, uh, but in everything um, that is actually 7.7% higher than league average. So what we always want to do is want to try these, find these teams that are on hot streaks, right? The hot streaks, hot hitters uh, versus bad pitching or vice versa, right? Angels offense, bad, 187. I mean, this is like some Mariner style stuff right here. Uh, Tigers offense is actually 9.2% better than the Angels over their last five. I think they're going to continue to get this one today. We will take the Tigers on the money line sitting at about minus 0165. Okay, the next one. This is going to be between the Braves and the Phillies, right? Uh, we have Charlie Morton on the mound of five. Nope, it's 4.564 over his last five. 4.2 for the season, so band pretty darn steady, I must say. Versus Sanchez, 5.17 ERA over his last five. A little bit elevated from the 3.51 this season. Philly's offense has been pretty hot, I mean, until yesterday. But what can you do? You're going to have those days. Uh, but that's why we take a look at averages, right? I also set limits. So when you put up a 10, you don't get credit for all 10 from the day before. You know how that works. Uh, Philly's offense right now, if you take a look at them average-wise, they're 15.2% better than the league average on all those offensive impact categories that I've been talking about. They're hitting 304. I think every manager in the big leads will be real happy with that. And they're also actually hitting 6.1% better than this Braves team. So you know where we're going. We're taking the Phillies here today on the money line. So it's at like minus 152. Third play. What do we got for you today? Oh, I got to do it, don't I? I'm going to go Royals and Astros at Minute Maid. Uh, we have Brady Singer on the mound. He's elevated in the short term, you guys, so not doing great again. 5.65. It's always these starting pitchers that worry me all the time. 3.38 this season versus Hunter Brown, who is going the opposite direction, right? Right now he has a 2.7 ERA over his last five, and then he has that elevated overall. So he's going in the wrong direction. Uh, 3.72 this season. Uh, the Astros pitching has been getting it done. If I take a look at them, they're 1.02 runs less than what they had been. So the starting pitching and bullpen has been doing some great work. But if I look at just bullpen numbers, they're 1.21 less than this Royals team. So, I mean, this is got better than not pitching plus better bullpen, we're going to go ahead and take, it would be the Astros at minus 150. So there's a lot of medium plays in there, minus 150s, but it is a small card, only got 11 games here today. 
All right, you guys. Hey, before we go, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe to Tony's channel. Then also make sure you go ahead and check out our sister channel. So powered by Tony's Fix is the OG Sports Network. So it's another little place that we have some content there for you, right? So I get to do my Tony T style breakdown of every single game. So you can go ahead and check us out on the OG Sports Network. I'll have all 11 plays over there if you want to go ahead and take a look. You also have uh, Bo and CJ and Solo and Mark and Scott and Ron. They're all doing videos and stuff for us over there too. So you can check out even more stuff to get even more consensus. We also have this shorts tab too, where you can find Bo's video series. And then I cut up my plays there too. So you can always type in game versus game and you can find these little tidbits of information for you. All right, that's it, Whitney. I mean, she's ready for bed. So it's time for us to go. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.